It's not often that you find a lobster, a Swarovski chandelier, and a teddy bear all for sale in one room. But at the top international convention of miniature makers, nothing is impossible. This is the Kensington Dollhouse Festival. Every summer since 1985, craftspeople from around the world have traveled to show off their tiny handmade masterpieces, and dollhouse aficionados have flocked to see them. On the 40th anniversary of the show, it seems to be as popular as ever. I make miniatures for 30 years, and most of the things I do is knit. Here it is very small, it is 148, and I can do smaller. This is micro knitting. To make one dress and hat is about six hours or so. So I'm uh, specialized in making teddy bears. And the small teddy bears takes me about three, four hours to make, uh, to make it. And I've been in this hobby for almost 20 years and coming to Kensington maybe for 10 years already. I meet a lot of people here coming from different countries, from the States, from Japan, and also so. this monkey here. Mm -hmm. I think that is my one of the favorite. Every piece is hand sewn and the face made like that. It was my first time coming to the show. It's a whole new world. Oh my god, it's amazing. Like, I liked the whole variety of people that were that were there. It wasn't just sort of traditional dolls houses. It was more like modern houses that you see. But my favorite stand was the really crazy octopus lady. So like, you can make anything miniature. You can make whatever you want miniature. You can completely just do whatever you want. And it's really great. It inspired me to start making my own design, my own house, so that when I buy a house for myself, I already have a little replica of what I want the house to be. I've started the process of designing it, but I haven't started the making aspect. Today was just a, a day to see what can be possible and what can be done and it's kind of like literally anything. 